Uh, what's your name? Neil. Neil. And what's your connection to the racetrack? Oof. But from the beginning, I started out grooming, and then I learned how to ride, and then I rode some races for a while, and then I started working for Mr. Mott. And how long, how long you been involved in horse racing? It's got to be 20, 28 years, 29. 29 years ago, huh? What was racing like back then, man? A lot different where I started. I started on a bull ring in, in Western Canada, and uh, it's a lot different racing, you know. It's obviously not, uh, doesn't quite compare to Saratoga, but uh, it, was, it was different. It was a lot of fun, a um, little rougher maybe. My best experience, probably working with some of the horses I've been able to work with here yeah. for Mr. Mott. And what's some of the great, what's some of the good horses that you came in kind with? Well, I got to be around, I was around Royal Delta, I was around Flat Out, I was around Lee, Elate, Art Collector, Ron the Greek, uh, Close Hatches, a lot of good ones. Now we've got Warlike Goddess, I mean, we just always around something special. And the name of this program is The Real Players inside the back stretch and a lot of people think on the train to make all this thing come together and we back here the Saratoga meet is over and these guys are still working just as hard as they was working when I was here during the meet you know what I mean there's so, no end there's no end the, the longer days during the meet uh, but other than that these guys are here you know 4 30 5 o'clock every morning uh, you know, they start in the stalls, get them cleaned out, and then they're brushing off their horses and getting them ready. And it's every day, every day. There's, there's no, no rest for the wicked, man. No rest for the wicked, right? And uh, what's your job title now these days? What you do now? Assistant? I'm an assistant and exercise rider. Exercise rider. And the best horse you ever exercised rode was? And you, for you? You could have gone on that the whole list I just gave you. Oh, you rode all those horses? Well, at one point or another, yeah. yeah. Um, what makes this track right here special, Saratoga? It's, you know, it's a good place for when we start in the spring. We, we bring a lot of our, you know, we get our young horses started here out, out on Oklahoma, the, the training track. Um, I guess the, the weather's usually pretty good for the horses. You know, the facility itself, they, they try to make it good for you, you know, especially, you know, when the meet's on, you got all the horses here, so you got both tracks open. And What's that feeling like when the big horse win the big race and kind of come back to the barn? Man, that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's, that's why we get up in the morning and, um, you know, I, I get more nervous now running these things than I ever did riding them. Uh, there's just, now I know how much work goes into it in one split second and all that hard work goes, you know, down the drain or not necessarily down the drain, but, you know, just changes a lot of things. And, uh, you know, the difference between a nose and, and a head, it, uh, they, don't, they don't give those things away, man. They're yeah. pretty special. You guys going to the Breeders' Cup, huh? And what's the preparation for that? What kind of horses you got going there? Well, we've got Art Collector. He's going to go into the Classic. He just got done winning the Woodward, so uh, he's earned a spot. Uh, Warlike Goddess, she won a win in your in race here on the turf. She, she's a nice filly. Uh, we've got Cassa Creed. He, he won a win in your in race. He's going to go. Um, we're going to take Horologist, who was just second in the Bell Dame. She's going to go, and we're going to give Channel Maker one more shot. See if the old boy can't get it done one time. And how do you climb up the ladder around the barn, man? You started off as a hot walker and you started off as all these things. How you get to make it to assistant? How how that happen? <laughs> well, there's a there's a couple stories I could tell you. <laughs> One is just being here and hard work. I uh, I met him when I was still a jockey, and I was exercise riding for him a little bit in the winter. And then when I quit, I approached him and uh, you know and asked him if I could you know, start working at the barn and, you know, seeing whatever it would take me. And eventually, you know, the door opened up and, and the job opened. Man, I want to say thank you guys for all the hard work you do. Thank you. Yeah. Guys like you for making it known, you know, getting it out there. And that's what we try to do, man, talk to the real players, man, because people don't even understand the work 
that you guys do. So hopefully this could kind of push the game in the next direction, talking to the guys in the backstretch, man. Yeah, right on. And thank you. Thank you.